The most important thing is that the models are just going to get smarter, generally across the board. There will be a lot of other things too which we can talk about, but if you think about what happened from GPT-3 to 3.5 to 4, it just got smarter. What if I told you OpenAI is planning to charge $20,000 a month for an AI assistant? Sounds unbelievable, right? But that's exactly what a new report from The Information claims. OpenAI is allegedly working on ultra-expensive AI agents aimed at replacing high-level researchers, software engineers, and knowledge workers. But what does PhD-level AI actually mean? And is it really worth the price? Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know, including leaked details, real-world applications, and the biggest concerns experts are raising. Stay with me, because this story gets crazier the deeper we go. The leak that shocked everyone. The report suggests that OpenAI is developing a tiered pricing model for AI agents that could drastically reshape the way businesses and researchers use AI. According to the leak, OpenAI plans to introduce three different pricing tiers, each targeting a specific market. At the highest level, there's a $20,000 per month AI agent designed for PhD level research. This model is supposedly capable of analyzing complex data, generating detailed reports, and even conducting scientific studies. The next tier is a $10,000 per month AI assistant tailored specifically for software developers. This version is expected to debug code, write applications, and automate programming tasks without human intervention. Lastly, there's a $2,000 per month AI model positioned as a knowledge worker assistant, helping with data analysis, document generation, and strategic planning. For comparison, OpenAI's ChatGPT Plus currently costs $20 per month, while the enterprise-grade ChatGPT Pro is priced at $200 per month, a tiny fraction of these rumored prices. This begs the question, what makes these new AI agents so different? The core idea behind this pricing strategy is that these models will be far more advanced than anything OpenAI has released before. However, even if they deliver on these promises, the pricing raises serious concerns. Who would actually pay this much? And more importantly, does PhD-level AI really mean what it sounds like? What is PhD-level AI? The term PhD-level AI isn't a scientific classification. It's a marketing term referring to AI models designed to handle highly specialized tasks. These AI agents are expected to conduct advanced research across multiple disciplines, write and debug complex code without human intervention, and analyze large-scale data sets to generate detailed reports. The claim is that these AI systems can solve problems that traditionally require years of academic training. But is that really the case? OpenAI is basing these claims on benchmark tests that compare their models to human experts. For example, the O3 model, the latest iteration of OpenAI's AI architecture, has delivered some of the most impressive test results to date. It scored 87.5% on the ARC AGI visual reasoning test, slightly surpassing human performance at 85%. On the 2024 American Invitational Mathematics exam, it achieved 96.7% accuracy, missing only one question. The model also scored 87.7% on GPQA Diamond, a benchmark covering graduate-level biology, physics, and chemistry questions. Perhaps the most shocking result came from the Frontier Math Benchmark, where O3 solved 25.2% of problems, while no other AI model has ever scored above 2%. These are undeniably impressive numbers, but here's the catch. Academic expertise isn't just about passing tests. Real PhD research requires creativity, skepticism, and the ability to develop entirely new theories, not just process existing information faster. AI can analyze vast amounts of data and generate reports at incredible speed, but can it truly replace human innovation and critical thinking? And that leads to the next big question. Who would actually pay for this? OpenAI's price tiers. To justify the $20,000 per month price tag, OpenAI is betting that big businesses and elite research institutions will see massive value in automating high-level work. But do they? One early investor who seems to believe in it is SoftBank. Reports indicate that SoftBank has already committed $3 billion to OpenAI's agent products this year alone. That's a massive financial bet on AI agents replacing human knowledge workers. But while corporations may have the budget for these AI assistants, there's strong pushback from the research community. 
Many PhD students and developers have pointed out that companies could hire actual PhD researchers for far less than $1.20K a month. In a viral post, XAI developer Hugh Pham pointed out that most PhD students don't even make that much money in an entire year. That brings us to an even bigger issue. Is this really worth the cost? Because even though AI can analyze massive data sets and pass tough exams, there's a major flaw that no amount of marketing can fix. Can this AI actually compete with PhD experts? Here's where things start to break down. While OpenAI's models score incredibly well on benchmarks, they still struggle with one major issue, hallucinations, which means generating factually incorrect or misleading information. For example, OpenAI's previous models have been caught fabricating citations, misinterpreting scientific data, and even making up entire research papers. In high-stakes environments like medical research, engineering, and scientific discovery, these errors could be disastrous. A recent study found that even the best AI models still produce hallucinations in 3 to 20% of responses, depending on the complexity of the question. That's a major problem if businesses are expected to trust these systems for critical research. Even beyond hallucinations, AI still lacks true creativity and original thought. A PhD researcher doesn't just memorize information. They question it, challenge existing theories, and develop entirely new frameworks for understanding the world. AI, at least for now, doesn't do that. That's why many researchers and AI experts argue that calling these models PhD level is misleading. They might be great for automating repetitive research tasks, but they aren't replacing the critical thinking that real human experts bring to the table. OpenAI's business strategy. To understand why OpenAI is introducing ultra-premium AI agents, you need to follow the money. First, OpenAI is under intense financial pressure. Reports indicate that in 2024 alone, OpenAI lost around $5 billion, largely due to the massive operational costs of running AI models, paying for compute power, and expanding its infrastructure. Unlike its early days as a nonprofit research lab, OpenAI is now a for-profit company that needs a sustainable revenue stream to fuel its rapid growth. This financial pressure has also led to legal challenges. In February 2024, Elon Musk sued OpenAI and CEO Sam Altman, alleging that the company abandoned its original mission of developing AI for the benefit of humanity and instead prioritized profits under Microsoft's influence. The lawsuit argued that OpenAI, once a nonprofit research entity, had shifted to a highly commercial model, contradicting its founding principles. While OpenAI dismissed the claims, the legal battle highlights growing concerns about the company's monetization strategy. So could this pricing model be a way to push enterprises into high-cost AI adoption? The trend certainly suggests so. OpenAI's pricing strategy has been creeping upward over time, starting with ChatGPT Plus at $20 per month, then introducing ChatGPT Pro at $200 per month, and now the new AI agent tiers at $2,000, $10,000, and $20,000 per month. This pattern indicates that OpenAI isn't just developing better AI tools. It's positioning itself as a premium enterprise provider. If businesses become dependent on these AI agents, OpenAI secures a long-term revenue stream, making their technology indispensable to corporations, research institutions, and high-level developers. But there's a major risk to this strategy. AI is evolving fast, and it's getting cheaper and better every year. Historically, the cost of computing power has dropped dramatically over time. If OpenAI's competitors, such as Anthropic, Google DeepMind, or XAI, release cheaper AI models with similar capabilities, OpenAI's $1.20K per month pricing model may not hold up in the long run. And then comes the biggest question of all. Will AI completely replace knowledge workers in the future? That seems to be OpenAI's long-term bet. If companies begin to see AI as a viable alternative to hiring highly trained experts, we could witness a massive shift in how businesses operate. But we're not there yet. AI still has significant limitations, and it's unclear whether companies will be willing to replace human experts entirely. Is OpenAI's PhD level AI worth $20,000? Let's be real, $20,000 per month is an extreme price tag, but whether it's worth it depends entirely on who is using it and for what purpose. For large corporations, research institutions, or hedge funds that rely on cutting-edge analysis, an ultra-advanced AI agent could be valuable. If an AI model can save millions in research costs, speed up innovation, 
or automate time-consuming processes, then the price might make sense for high-budget enterprises. But for individuals, small businesses, or startups, the value proposition isn't as clear. Even some of the world's best PhD researchers don't make $20,000 a month. So why would an AI assistant, which still struggles with hallucinations and original thinking, be worth that much? And let's not forget, competition in AI is fierce. If OpenAI's competitors release cheaper and equally powerful models, the company may have to adjust its pricing strategy or risk losing customers. At the end of the day, this leak shows one thing clearly. OpenAI isn't just developing better AI, it's trying to redefine the business model of AI entirely. And whether that works remains to be seen. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.